Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne, First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We're continuing in our series on Jesus First, putting Jesus first in our in 2022. Let's look back at the end of this year and see how we've grown spiritually, how we've, how we've uh, gr uh, allowed God to work in our lives as we reach people, as we get rid of sins and so forth in our life. Let's make this a cleansing year a reaching year, an opportunity year where we grow in Jesus Christ. Amen? Well, today we want to talk about putting Jesus first in serving, by serving. Let's put Jesus first by serving him. We're turning to the book of Ephesians chapter 4, and starting in verse 11. And I want you to catch this, because this is a, a an important passage for, for believers. And he says, and he gave himself some, now notice this, he gave himself. God gifted people for himself. And he gave himself some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Christ gave himself, Christ being the head of the church. We know that when Christ ascended, that He, the Holy Spirit descended upon uh, in, in Acts chapter 2 and, and began to fill men and women, the followers of Christ, uh, true believers with the Holy Spirit of God, and not for tongues, uh, not for for miracles of healings and so forth, but he, he equipped, as Ephesians 4 says, for the work of the ministry. In other words, when you trusted Christ as your Savior, God gave you a spiritual gift, not to make money with, not to uh, proclaim how great you are, but to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It says, For the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And he's saying that he has gifted you spiritually. He's, he, you have a spiritual gift within you for the equipping of the, uh, of the saints, for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the work of the ministry. You know what? Whatever church you're in, whether you're in this church, at First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, or you're a church in North Carolina, or Georgia, or Seattle, or around the world, whatever church you're involved in, that's the church where God has a, a place for you to serve. That is your mission field. You need to find your place of work in that ministry. You need to find a place where you can use your giftedness uh, for the kingdom of God to help young people um, grow or older people grow in their knowledge of Jesus Christ, to share the good news, to share the word of God with them, to encourage them, to pray for them, to counsel them, to guide them. And you know what? We've maybe elevated it farther than it should be. There's so many resources out there to, today, Sunday school materials and 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 books and, and different things that are out there that can guide you. Your pastor will help guide you uh, in, in, in ministering to young people or older people or whatever it is that God has called you to do, to visit the, 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 um, the shut-ins, to uh, to care for the those that are that are sick and so forth. There's are m many ministry opportunities out there. Working around the church, you're you're good at hammering a a, uh, a you know a nail and into a piece of wood. You can change lights. You can do some intense cleaning. You can uh, help with the H HVAC system or whatever it is that God has gifted you, and you need to get involved. Listen, there, this is not up for debate. It's not. It's not up for debate. It's not your choice whether you get involved or not. It is an expectation of all believers. Now that you are saved, now that someone reached out to you 
you now in turn must reach out to somebody else. And you need, as someone has shared the, the, the word of God with you, now you can share the, the word of God with someone else. As someone came and cleaned the church and, and repaired the church, now you can assist, find your place in the nursery, in the Sunday school, in the buildings and grounds, in the, in, in the finances, and all these things that are, that are available in your local church. Ask your pastor where you where there's a need uh, or tell him what your spiritual gift is, what your background is, and see if he can plug you in, like pieces in the puzzle, plug you in so that the church works on all cylinders, works, accor uh, works according to uh, how God has gifted you. You may be the missing piece. You may be the, the missing link that will help this church finally get to the next level. God didn't gift you by mistake, and he didn't gift you to, to sit on, on the sideline and watch other people work. He's gifted you, he saved you, and now he's gifted you, as Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, and 10 tells us that we are created, you know, apart from good works, but saved unto good works. Where are you working at in the church? Let's change that in 2022. It doesn't have to take hours and hours a week. It can take as little as one hour a week, depending on where where they plug you in. Find somewhere. Be a blessing. Don't always seek to be blessed. You know, I, I've always found that I think true blessings come as I tr strive to bless other people. And then the blessing comes back to me. Why don't you try that this year? Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well. Let's put Jesus first in 2022. I'll see you tomorrow.